Hello friends. Welcome to Awareness Moments with Kira. It's 12:12, and it is a sacred time as we join together again this day to uh, invite ourselves to choose love today. Are you choosing love over fear? You know, there are many that believe there are only two particular, uh, ultimately deep feelings and emotions that represent uh, that separation of where we are in alignment with our highest self or whether we're choosing to diminish our true spirit, our true spirit of life. And so those two are love or fear. They have different, you know, expressions as we are familiar with some of the expressions of fear comes in as anger or frustration or resentment, or it might include selfishness versus willingness to be selfless. You know, there's so many ways that we get to choose between love and fear and to get to say, which one am I allowing to be the expression of my soul today? Love also has many different forms of expression. It might be that it's a loving kindness, but it also might be gratitude and a place of incredible gratefulness that overflows and, and fills us and has us seeing everything with the 2020 vision, which we're in this year, the perfect vision, the vision of seeing things through the divine eyes. And if we open ourselves to love and its essence, it might be joy, it might be peace, it might just be a harmonic within us, a movement of our soul sound in such a way that we feel aligned with ourselves and authenticity. You know, one of my very favorite movies is um, Defending Your Life with Albert Brooks and Meryl Streep's. And in this movie, Albert dies, he goes up into uh, what they call in that place purgatory, so to speak, which has wonderful qualities to it. You can eat anything you want, never gain an ounce, and, and everything tastes great. Uh, but it also is a place where you review your life. And the only thing that they're really looking at is did you choose love or did you choose fear? Were you in, in, embodied in self-doubt and your own thought stream and the fear? And did it hold you back from really living the fullness of that which you would, would truly would inspire you and inspire others because you're going for the joy, the love, the sense of oneness with others, the recognition that I don't need to hold myself back. And yet how many of us have done that? In our choosing fear, we diminish our ability to be fully present and to go for it, to go for the gusto with our imagination, with our ability to experience one another with that perfect vision of love with the loving kindness that is the, the true nature of our soul, we are joy expressing. And one of the aspects of love that helps us, helps us access and experience and dance to that rhythm is to bring forth that gratitude. When I feel gratefulness for everything that is experiencing, everything that is around me, everything that is in my field of awareness, when I live from that place of gratitude, I begin to notice all the little nuances of things to be grateful for. I love my stained glass lamp and how it shines. And I love being able to see you and feel your presence as you join me on here. And I wanna say a shout out to Mike Brentari and Janice Gerlich and Celia Farron and Paul Campbell and John Winfield and Diane Hopper and Anne Marie Work and others that will be joining at later time. I, I really honor that each one of you are a representation of that love in action, of the vibration of love and making a conscious choice to be in alignment with it. In the movie Defending Your Life that I was telling you about, I love at the end, it all comes down to what really is important is Albert Brooks making the decision that he's willing to let go of the fear and the doubts that have held him back and to take a leap of faith into that which brings joy, that which is an expression of love and what really calls him to be that loving presence and to be willing to take the risk for love. See, are we willing to re risk 
and release our old beliefs. The things that have kept us in bondage to doubt and fear, all those ways we've viewed the world or we've bought into the what others would tell us rather than to be present fully in ourselves right here right now in this now moment i am love it is my nature i cannot not be that now i may express it as joy or i may express it as gratitude or that loving kindness and actions that i take or words that i say or thoughts that i think feelings that I hold within me. See, every time we align our vibration in that way to the truth of our being, we bring that remembrance into the world for others. So I invite you to align with that which is the truth of your being here and now. Not worrying about the future, that's a, a misuse of imagination. Why not use your imagination to bring forth the world that you desire, the truth that people are loving, that they're connected and interconnected, and that we are solving the, the crisis of our world, all the crises of our world, by this time of renewal and re regeneration and rejuvenation. And so as I choose love, I'm more daring. How about you? Are you willing to be more daring? Are you willing to risk what you've believed, what you've bought into in the, the world consciousness and claim your true spiritual birthright, bringing the awareness of gratitude and love into the world? Watch yourself today and notice, are you choosing love over fear? Are you expanding that love consciousness and aligning it with the joy of your soul, with the gratefulness of your soul, with the loving kindness that is your, your true essence and nature? As we begin to notice and again kind of keep on nuancing and realigning and realigning and realigning to the truth of who we really are, in this now moment, that love extends out to every being. In this now moment, it extends into the hearts and souls of those that are suffering. And yet, we don't help them by going into their suffering. We help them by bringing gratitude for their presence. Uh, for those that are leaving the planet, we give gratitude for the gift of their presence and what it's brought. We give uh, that loving kindness and compassion to others in those moments by raising our vibration, by being aware in this moment, I am operating in well-being and I am operating with the, the freedom that is a, a call to choose, to choose again and again and again. That's what freedom is. It's the freedom to choose for ourselves. Do I choose love today? Do I choose it moment by moment by moment by moment? And when I do, my whole being is filled with light. It is filled with awareness. See, and that, that presence transforms all of creation. So I invite you to find that place in you, the truth of your being, the loving awareness, and it doesn't mean we don't have any of the grief show up. We may go in and out with different things. I honor that. But I know there's a difference between an experience of a feeling or buying into a story about something that creates a different feeling. So as we choose instead to stay in the truth and to stay in a higher awareness in this moment that my greatest gift is to just bring that love forth into the world and to choose it and take the risk to let go of everything I've known, every structure and way of being and begin to open to what is possible. What is possible when I choose love right now and every day? And I wanna just say thank you to all of you that have joined in. Oh, there's so many more. Let me just acknowledge for just a moment, Dave March and, and Ada and Julie and Kim Chapman Cluck and Sandy Hanna and Charlotte Hopkins and Jackie and Lawson and Randall Libero. So many of you, I just wanna say, I, I so love and adore you. And I'm so grateful for all of you that are tuning in and vibrating love into this world. We need you to more than ever, right? 
right now to be the example for others of what is possible in the midst of fear that we are the calm, we are the loving presence, the joy, the kindness, the compassion, that experience that lights us up from the inside out. And when we risk being that loving presence in the midst of the fear, it's a risk. It may look like a risk anyway. It's not really, because it's really just changing the vibration for everyone. But we may have to overcome, like Albert Brooks did in Defending Your Life, those things that have held us back from being the true light of the world, the true essence of joy, the presence for love. It is the most powerful force in the universe to be that presence. And that's our greatest calling during this time, to choose love. So I am so grateful for each one of you. I'm grateful because I know you're choosing love. And I know that you are rippling that stuff out into the universe so that people are able to surf on it. Those waves are so high. I love you all. Have a fabulous, fabulous day. God bless you, friends.